What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another Jurassic Park and kind of Jurassic World discussion video as well. So today I'm going to be questioning myself and kind of answering my own question here of is the Tyrannosaurus Rex actually the king or queen of Jurassic Park as a series? So as we all know, the T-Rex has shown up in every single Jurassic Park film and has kind of played a main role regardless of what other dinosaurs have been in the movie. In Jurassic Park 3, you could make the argument that of course the Spinosaurus is the main antagonist in that film and that is correct, but of course the most memorable scene from that movie is when the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus fought, so either way, the T-Rex does show up in probably the most important scenes and, and it makes the biggest impact on the entire film. Now, now this may not even seem like a question to most people, most people will just say, oh yes, the T-Rex is the king and of course the queen of Jurassic Park, but if you really look at the entire series, the only thing the T-Rex has really been able to kill off is the Velociraptors and humans. In Jurassic Park 3 and in Jurassic World, the T-Rex was dominated by the Spinosaurus, and of course the Indominus Rex. Now, you can kind of make the argument that the T-Rex was not fully grown in Jurassic Park 3, and in Jurassic World, the T-Rex was way too old for that fight, but still having them kind of show the T-Rex as the king or the queen in the film, and then just getting destroyed by a dinosaur its size is kind of questionable and doesn't really make too much sense. This is my whole theory behind this for the writers. I say that they're trying to make the other dinosaur that the T-Rex is fighting get a little bit more attention and kind of prove to the Jurassic Park community that this new dinosaur that they're showing is kind of the real deal and should be taken seriously. That's kind of what they did in Jurassic Park 3 with the Spinosaurus. In the two films prior to Jurassic Park 3, the T-Rex obviously was the main dinosaur and was kind of looked at as the powerhouse on both those islands and both those movies as well. So having a whole new dinosaur that is the main antagonist in Jurassic Park 3 was a little bit risky and they had to kill off the T-Rex to kind of set in stone that the Spinosaurus is very powerful and of course, like I said earlier, should be taken seriously. Now I agree and disagree with that move. Of course, it was a bad move to kind of make the Spinosaurus kill off the T-Rex because obviously that made a lot of the fans angry and it made a lot of the fans hate the Spinosaurus, but it also gave the Spinosaurus a lot of attention and gave it a pretty big fan base. So there's benefits and negatives to both, but either way, it kind of didn't turn out too well. Now with the Indominus Rex, I do believe that they made the right decision here. The Indominus Rex was kind of popular already since it is a new hybrid and it isn't an actual dinosaur so you can't really make the argument that the T-Rex would be able to kill it and people really wouldn't get mad at this, that the Indominus Rex would be able to kill off the T-Rex. Another thing they did right is they didn't actually kill off the T-Rex, they just had to get destroyed during the fight and then they had the T-Rex come in later on in the fight and kind of destroyed the Indominus Rex so they made the correct decision there and I do agree with what they did in that movie. Now bringing up this question for Jurassic World 2 is will the T-Rex be able to fight something its size and actually be able to kill it off? I want to see a fully grown female Tyrannosaurus Rex that is in the middle of her age, kind of at the prime age of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, go up against something else such as a theropod and have an even fight and just see what happens. Because as we know the T-Rex is very strong, very powerful and shouldn't lose too many fights as it was one of the apex predators of its time so it really wouldn't make sense for Jurassic World 2 because we've already seen the T-Rex get destroyed two times already so I think it's about time we see the T-Rex do something that would make the fans a lot happier and kind of give the T-Rex fans something to be proud of rather than just kind of arguing with Spinosaurus fans over who would win that battle. So I definitely think the Tyrannosaurus Rex is the king and the queen of Jurassic Park when it comes to originality and, and kind of nostalgia because as we know the Jurassic Park T-Rex was the original T-Rex and was the first dinosaur we saw in the series so definitely the most popular dinosaur in the series and definitely the staple of the franchise so leave your thoughts in the comment section below do you think the T-Rex is the king and of course the queen of Jurassic Park or do you think that title belongs to say the Spinosaurus or the Indominus Rex leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you guys are new to the channel Please subscribe, and as always guys, leave a like, and have a nice day.